Hi guys, Oliver here from Spitfire Audio. In this video, I'm going to take you through my composition using the Black Weekend collection, the Ton, and the very exclusive Aperture Strings. During the weekends, you get 20% off individual libraries, up to 73% of products with collections, and the new collections, Black Weekend collection and the Ton, are available, and the very exclusive incentive, Aperture Strings, when you shop with us during the Black Weekend. Links below to check it all out. I'm going to play you my piece and then we're going to analyze it. So for this piece, I took inspiration of the piece Serenity by Benjamin Wolfish. Uh, I also listened uh, extensively to Christian's trailer music and probably took a little bit of inspiration there. And then I tried to mix it up a little bit, uh, adding my own flavor. So the whole piece uh, starts it off by this simple piano riff. So this is in the ton here. So we have the orchestral grand, which is just a really lovely piano. Then you have EDNA, which is our kind of electronic 
library, I would say, or one of them. Uh, you have our lovely EDNA engine here where you can tweak your sounds. It's a very big library, so it's a kind of a huge package of uh, Atmos drones, bass, drums, percussion effects, keys, leads, pads, strings, and so on. I've used only a few, but I'm going to show you uh, some of them or the ones I've used. Uh, and then we've got in there um, BDT, uh, which is British Drama Toolkit. And I'll show you in a second how this works. It's very interesting and intuitive. However, so my inspiration, as said, uh, Serenity by Benjamin Wolfish. And uh, I had this little uh, piano kind of idea already, which goes something like that. Uh, chord wise, very simple, F minor. And I kind of choose the voicing, so left hand I have my, my bass note, and the right hand I just play the fifth and the octave, and then I create this melody. And I do some variations, so B flat minor. And it just kind of plays around. It goes there in the middle, it goes onto E flat minor just quickly. So it gives a little bit of a different color there, but all very simple and straightforward. And then I basically arranged everything around that piano riff. So I'm starting off with BDT here, part of the ton, as mentioned. And BDT is very amazing. You can use your left hand to create a texture and then your, your right hand to play the melody. So basically it's all velocity based. If we go in here, you can see that there's different layers. I've chosen here a soft layer. Usually there is uh, here three layers. Yeah, you have loud, soft and texture. But here, I, I didn't really want to go that loud, but let me just demonstrate how this works. So you have a, a mixture of woodwinds and strings. It's very beautifully recorded. It's quite dry and it's it's actually it's perfect for drama and sketching out stuff. And if I just play you what what my intro is here, some EDNA stuff. Here I'm using the reverb pre-fader basically before the main signal comes out. It's addressing the reverb. So basically what you hear is is mainly the reverb signal. So I want it to be like super distant, and it's quite a nice trick to have that. And I, if I show you here, bus number one goes to my reverb here, uh, Fab Filter Pro R. I've tweaked it a little bit, uh, saved it as my own preset, and it sounds like this. Not very interesting on its own, but there's really, really delicate stuff and small stuff going on. So it just adds that kind of texture I want, the, the rooted notes there. Uh, another one is Waves of Uncertainty. A little mistake here. Of course, see uh, here. This one sounds like that. I've assigned uh, some mod wheel functions here. Again, very subtle, but all together here, the, uh, the ton. Just kind of setting the mood very, very delicately. Then I've used some of the Black Weekend collection in this intro as well. Let me just explain. The Black Weekend collection is solo strings. I've used the Total Performance Violin and Cello here only because I really like them. I, I like how you can play and how it responds. Uh, velocity, kind of speed, how you set vibrato, etc. It responds uh, fabulously to all of that. Then the Chamber Strings Core, which is hands down my favorite Spitfire library. Core version means you get... Uh, all the sa same articulations, but you only get CTA, which means closed tree and ambient mics. If you get the professional version that's not in the Black Weekend collection, you just get uh, some more mixes. Here I'm using the Legatos, uh, Legato Flautando, Flautando Spitfire special kind of sound and patch. Actually, I'm just going to quickly play this for you because it's it's just super creamy and beautiful.
absolutely wonderful sound. And then what else is in there? The Oliver Chamber Evolutions. I'd say that's probably my second favorite library. And you have evolutions in there, evolving phrases. Let me just show you. I'm using here the wow effect. Perfect if you look for that other kind of string sound, Nordic, Scandi kind of sound. And the, the waves, I mean, the waves are just... You get them a little bit slower as well. I mean, this is heaven on earth, really. Uh, so that's the Black Weekend collection for you. So more strings heavy. And then the Aperture strings you get as an exclusive treat, let's say, once you shop with us on the Black Weekend. And it will disappear again. And there's loads of videos online to see how it works. But basically it goes in an instant from an ensemble of uh, single string players to a symphonic size string orchestra. And you open and close the Aperture here via your mod wheel. Let me just play a simple note or chord. And I mean, that gives you a lot of option to play with dynamics rather than making it uh, loud or quiet or kind of having different dynamics, piano or forte. It just plays with the size and it's a very unique concept. So what am I doing here in the intro? I'm using the Oliver Arnold's uh, Chamber Evolutions here to add that certain uh, fairy dust on what I've had on top here. I'm fading this in slowly. The Aperture Ensemble in tremolo form. Slowly opening the Aperture, closing again just to give a little bit of excitement. And the Pinhole Ensemble is basically a similar thing to the Aperture Ensemble, but it's uh, everything or every player playing at the absolute quietest uh, level. So you get extra delicacy there. And we have the refractions as well here, which is basically uh, swells. So a similar thing with the, as with the Oliver Arnold's uh, waves. But of course, you have, again, the option to, to change the size of your orchestra. And then we have the shorts as well, which we'll get to later, which is so much fun to play with, uh, from going like just a single player, hitting shorts, and then to like a huge orchestra. Very effective. My beginning, adding some waves here. Just setting the mood there, having a solo cello taking over a line. And then basically they're starting the piece. So uh, the clarinets there of the BDT is hinting on the melody. So basically just this uh, A flat, E flat, which is part of my uh, piano kind of riff that I've played you before. And then it, it, it starts off, starts there with the piano and the lush strings come in uh, from the chamber orchestra or the, the chamber strings, uh, flautando legato. Just playing you this uh, separately. Solo violin. And then the warm bass is coming. The bass of the chamber orchestra, again, it's, it's very detailed and warm. And that's a lot on the bottom end.
on the piano, I wanted to make it sound grand, even grander. So I put a lot of reverb on there. And also I've created here a bit of a, a, a delay channel for the piano. So if we just have a quick listen, only the piano. I'm sending some uh, signals to the high, higher pitched reverb. AU pitch, then tape delay, and then tremolo. So it goes left, right. So it creates this little bit of sparkle and it gives just a feel of further depth of the piano there. And I'm bringing this in and out when I'm playing lower notes here, I'm taking it out. Otherwise it sounds a bit strange and computery. And here in the end, just a load of reverb on those high sparkly bits as well. I'm doing a bit of an interplay between the chamber strings and the aperture refractions here. So basically, uh, it's kind of a call and answer. So if we solo this. And answer there. And everything else is kind of setting the mood. And it's just so beautiful with these apertures where you can like just swell in by increasing the size. Again, here the Oliver Arnold's waves come in as well. Pinhole tremolo here. Super, super small and delicate. Again, a lot of reverb on there. Now, the bigger section starts. So let me just unmute this, just give you a little reminder. Have a listen to those aperture. So, as you can see, very effective. They start really, really small, just uh, five player playing those. And it's a different thing instead of a whole orchestra just playing it really quiet. If you just have one and then it opens up, it has just a very unique effect. And then here, the flautando and the longs, same thing. Uh, the aperture opens up. Slowly getting bigger. I'm using flautando here. Longs down here and I'm fading those in. So the note is getting stronger, the tone of the note as well. Some harmonic trills. Really, really cool adds to the drama. Then I have here a, a little melody line with the cello and the violin. As you could hear, I'm turning up the vibrato as I as I go along, so it gets more expressive here. Actually, that should be a little bit of a uh, neater programming here. Going down to zero, so something like that, because I don't want vibrato at first, but then really kind of digging in with the vibrato and and uh, creating this kind of rise. Uh, I have a rhythm here, EDNA rhythm. Together with the aperture so shorts, it sounds really cool. And then the piano is followed by, by the strings actually here.
And then the big change here, I'm bringing in a big bass, EDNA here, uh, kind of a sub bass here. Doubled up by the longs uh, legato here, basses. Cello playing a little bit of a counter line, let's have a listen. I made initially an arrangement here with the second violin and the viola, but then I actually preferred to have this kind of dissonant, uh, kind of squeaky, screaming sound rather than um, this kind of vi violin two and viola arrangement. Kind of prefer it much more. It's a little bit lighter as well because there's a lot of other stuff going on. So here with the Colenio is actually the opposite. I'm going from quite heavy, big orchestra hitting the strings with the back of their bows to just five players. And it's very, very effective. A lot of detail there actually in the, in the programming of this library. I think it really pays off. Uh, it's very useful within a composition. And then in the end, I'm kind of returning to my initial, or to my intro, basically. Pinhole ensemble. Ah, oh, and the waves here. And it's really just wonderful, this pinhole ensemble trem, how it really goes small and you can just hear one player doing the tremolo there. Refractions, just very low here in the, in the dynamic, meaning the aperture is closed, only a, a tiny, tiny ensemble is playing it. Orchestral grand as well, really, really lovely tone. You have actually two uh, distinctive options here, tape or direct signal. I've used the tape, quite an interesting mic position there. Uh, the close to kind of cut through. Uh, the tree, ambient and outrigger just to make it a little bit wide and give space. Again, quite a lot of reverb, two different reverbs actually. Here, a big hole and a plate reverb as well. Your idea lexicon 224 there. And then here I'm creating a retardando, so just slowing down. So it gives a bit of a natural touch here to the piano of like easing out and slowing down. So this is my composition. Thank you very much for watching and listening. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section or get in touch with us via the live chat. We're on it all weekends and we're happy to help answer you any kind of questions. Uh, I hope you get your hands on one of the wonderful libraries that are on promotion and please get your hands on the aperture strings. It's insane. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.